Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this effect that you're seeing on screen now. Alright, so to begin with, we're obviously going to need a clip. So just import it into After Effects like so, and create a new composition. Uh, this is the clip I'm going to be using, just one with a scout. And uh, I'm not going to do the entire clip, just to save a bit of time, so... I'm going to cut it there. Like so. And uh, now there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, you can either mask it manually with the pen tool and trace around the weapon that you want to have glowing, or you can use the rotor brush and uh, rotoscope it, which is what I'm going to be doing because uh, it's a little bit easier since uh, if you have the newer version of RFX, um, the program will just automatically do the rotor brushing for you. Um, if you don't have that, then you'll have to do it manually, or you can uh, again use the pen tool and mask it yourself. Alright, now to do the rotor brush method, uh, you need to duplicate the clip and just double click on it like so. Uh, go over to the rotor brush tool and then just, and then you'll see this green circle. Go to the side of the clip and then you just want to start painting in the parts that you want to keep. So, select that. Now if you, now for some parts that you don't want to keep, hold alt and the circle will turn red. Just paint the area that you don't want to keep. So I just want to keep the main skin like that. Uh, then just go forward. You should see this uh, rotor brush propagating message pop up. And that means RFX is automatically uh, masking it for you. Now it's not perfect. So you'll need to go through and uh, manually do it as well. So it's a little bit time consuming, but it's probably worth it to do that. All right, so once you finish rotor brushing, um, I'm not going to do the entire clip because that will take a bit too much time. And this is just a tutorial. Once you've finished doing that, you can just go back to the composition like so. And I'm just going to hide the bottom layer like that. So we can you see the top one. Then what we need to do is add tritone. So just add that to your clip. Now this little search bar is a uh, plugin called Effects Console by Video Copilot. It's a free one and I'll leave it in the description. And uh, the bind is control and space. So just press control and space and you can search the effects and it makes uh, just using After Effects a bit easier. Uh, once you have Tritone yeah, added to your clip, uh, click on the highlights, mids and shadows, set to a color that stands out. I'm just going to use red, like so. Once you have done that, add color range. Add set color range to be above Tritone. Then what we need to do with color range is just use the Inkjot tool. It's like the uh, red, whatever color you put in. Just keep selecting it until you get rid of quite a bit of it. Um, you don't want uh, the entire weapon to be glowing like crazy. All right, so once you've gotten something similar to that, that's probably good enough. Um, then you can add uh, deep glow. Uh, if you don't have deep glow, you can just use the normal glow. It will work the same. And then you can go re-enable the bottom layer like that. Uh, you can obviously add hue to change the color of it if you wish to do so. So I'm just going to put a green and then you, there you go. You have a sort of glowing effect on the weapon like that. Um, so yeah, that's the effect. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.